Hi all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, we're gonna check out this Manta Reef Vision from Coral Creations in Australia. It's a carbon fiber, and I mean real carbon fiber, camera look down tube. All right, so if you're still watching and you don't know what a camera look down tube is, you might be wondering why I'm holding this bit of uh, carbon fiber and 3D printing and acrylic um, in my hand. Basically what it is, it's the tube that allows you to put your camera in here, and then you can put the tube under the water surface so you don't get reflection of the light coming back up at your camera. So basically, if you've got uh, your camera like this and you're trying to take pictures, and just say the water level is up here, and you're trying to take pictures looking down through the water, one, you'll get reflections off the surfaces of the water, but you'll also get uh, the, the angle of the shot will actually refract off the water and you won't get a, you, you'll get that out of focus or that strange sort of look. So what a camera tube does is it allows you to put your camera inside the body of there and then you can dip this into the water. So with this unit here, you screw your camera in there, you can actually put that under the water surface and then you get beautiful clear photos. So that's what a camera tube does. Now I'm gonna tell you why the Manta Reef Vision is different from other offerings on the market. If you have a look on screen now, you'll see some images that I've taken with uh, my existing camera tube, which was the Avast Marine Works. This unit, it's not even, to be honest, it's not even mine. It's my local fish shops that I've just uh, been able to hang on to for a couple of years. It's a great bit of gear and it's done the job for me fantastically for the last few years. And um, it's very solid. It's a, it's a good heavy cast acrylic. It fits most camera lenses, it does the job really well. But uh, what's different about the uh, Coral Creations unit is a few things and it just separates it from the uh, others on the market a little bit. First of all, it is made out of carbon fiber and that's genuine carbon fiber. Now I know there was a little bit of uh, controversy about the uh, carbon fiber piping in uh, the uh, Aquabella sump system at uh, Restock. And uh, I realistically, the carbon fiber used in that system was just an aesthetic look. Now I guess you could say that this is aesthetic as well, but it does actually have a purpose. And that's because when I go uh, into state and I'm taking uh, pictures of people's tanks, I've got to pack my bag as light as I can. And uh, believe it or not, whilst the Avast unit is uh, built like a tank, it's incredibly solid. It's also really heavy and it's quite bulky. It takes up a fair amount of space in my camera bag. So having something carbon fiber, believe it or not, this thing is super light. It um, will go into my camera bag, take up no weight. It's still a fairly decent sized unit, but it's not gonna take up a lot of weight, which is gonna keep me out of trouble with Jetstar next time I go flying. But that's not where the uh, only point of differences are. Another one I wanna point out is that uh, we have this ridge along the top here, which uh, the creators tell me that that is a splash ridge so that when you do have your camera in the water, uh, if you get a bit of a wave or something, the water can come up and go over down into there, which is where your lens is. And most of the time lenses are not uh, salt waterproof. So this little unit here has this little splash guard, which just stops. So when you've got it into the water's surface, the water comes up to it, it can't splash over. And that's a neat little, uh, little feature, very simple to add on, but um, they've done really well with that. The next point of difference is, you may notice that on the bottom, they're both a bit dirty, sorry about that, but on the bottom of this one, it's clear. Bottom of this one, it's orange. It's got a filter built in. Now the filter is removable. You can unscrew these and take the filter off. Personally, I prefer to shoot with a filter off and I'd rather adjust my photos in post-processing. But if you're the type of person that uh, either doesn't do post-processing or you're just looking for the quickest shot, so if like you're a local fish store owner and you're wanting to take a few quick pictures as quickly as you can, not worry about editing them later. You don't want to change the setting on your lights. You want to leave the heavy blue spectrum. Having that blue filter there is going to save you doing that. You can just snap away with the blue LEDs on. Your pictures are going to come out pretty true to the eye. Not as good as if you post-processed, but it can save you a heap of time. Now, like I said, that is completely removable. You can unscrew that, take it off. If you wanted to, you could put a different color on or you could put something else on or you can take it off and just have the plain clear plastic. So there's a nice little uh, couple of points of difference. And uh, I guess the only thing you really left to do now is to put it on a camera, get some stills, get some videos and show you how the thing works. All right, so to fit the uh, unit up to your camera, you see I've already had mine in the uh, tank, which is probably a good little tip. You should probably have a towel about if you're gonna have this in and out of the uh, tank, you don't wanna get salt water everywhere. I have unscrewed these. Um, basically, you can unscrew these, take the uh, filters out. There were two filters in mine, actually, there's a few. It looks like I got three. So you can actually uh, stack those on top of each other to get various levels of, uh, of filtration if you want it to be really take out the heavy blues. But like I touched on, I like just the um, clear. I should give that a wipe, get my oily fingerprints on it. I have put this uh, ring back on, and that's because I quite like um, being able to sit this down that way and uh, not worry about scratching that nice clear uh, acrylic surface. So 
I've left that like that and that works well for me. Now all we need to do is grab the camera. Now I'm going to use uh, my macro lens, which is what I just about always use for top down shots. Um, I've actually taken an extension tube off, which allows me to get really close, but I'm just going to run with the uh, macro lens. I'm going to drop that into the uh, body here. Now, if I wanted to, I could go all the way down. I like to just uh, tighten up onto uh, this uh, rubber ring here, the focusing ring. It allows you to do a few extra things. Um, you can still access these switches. You can also manually focus if you want to. Plus, the uh, rubber ring gives you something a bit more to sort of grab onto. The only other thing really to do now is to make sure that you've got it somewhat lined up. You don't have to get too pedantic on this. As long as in your picture, you're not uh, seeing the bottom of the ring at all. You want the lens to be shooting all the way through. So to check that, what I generally do is start up the camera and just switch over to live view. And then uh, I can see that I'm, I'm not cutting. There's no, I can't see any of the tube in the picture at all. So the only thing left to do now is take some pictures and uh, see how this thing goes. Okay, so we got the uh, Manta Reef Vision Tube onto my camera. I'm gonna switch my camera on. I'm gonna set to some uh, fairly base level settings, which I'm just gonna switch to uh, uh, one one hundredth of a second for the shutter. I'm gonna go with f2.8 because I'm gonna go with those real uh, contrasty macro shots. And I'm gonna leave my ISO at auto. I'm gonna pick a subject. In fact, what I tend to do with these sort of shots is I put the um, live view on. So I'm not actually having to look through the um, lens itself. And I'm just going to focus in on the first thing I can find. There we go. All right, so I grabbed a few sample shots here using the uh, Coral Creations Manta Reef Vision, and you can see that the uh, pictures come up incredible. Now, these first few pictures here were taken with my uh, Canon 5D Mark III and the Canon 100mm Macro f.2.8, f I should say, uh, with very little post-processing at all. Uh, that being said, these images were taken with my uh, metal halides on, which give a really nice and easy to photograph color spectrum. In a second, you'll see some pictures I took in my frag tank, which was lit by just blue LEDs. And I did those with the orange filter on. Here we come now. These ones here, and you can see they turn out really, really well. And I even grabbed a little video, which I'll show you now. And um, I'm quite happy. I used no post-processing at all. That's what it came straight off the camera with. And um, I think you'll agree, it's a pretty good result um, and it's definitely going to speed up the process for a number of uh, photographers and also local fish stores out there. All right, so that's the review on the uh, Coral Creations Manta Reef Vision Camera Lookdown Tube. This is the carbon fiber version. Really, the only thing to do now is to uh, sum up with uh, some pros and cons, let you know where you can buy them and um, I'll leave you to get onto your other YouTube adventures. So we'll start off with my three cons um, because I always like to finish on a higher note. The first con that I'll um, point out is that uh, some of the components are printed, they're 3D printed. Um, so you don't always, it doesn't have the best feel to it, I guess, those parts, because they are 3D printed. Um, they're not really all that structural, so it shouldn't be any of an issue there, but uh, we've got to go with a con somewhere. The next uh, con that I'll point out is the uh, gel filters. In my experience of the gel filters, particularly if you want to stack them, um, so if you want to run more than one of those orange sheets at a time and stack them together, you can end up with a bit of water between them um, and it creates sort of some bubbles and stuff and then it's a little bit uh, hard to get that out. My tip around that would be to either use no gel filter or to use just one so you don't get uh, those layers between them. But uh, again, we've got to come up with three cons, so that's a third con. Sorry, that's a second con. And our uh, third con, um, yeah... I I'm going to struggle to come up with one here. I guess you could say that it's carbon fiber and it's unnecessary. That's going to depend on whether um, whether you need to travel or not and whether those extra few hundred grams in your bag are important. Um, I know I get seven kilos of checked in luggage, sorry, of carry on luggage um, when I fly and uh, every half kilo means the world to me. That being said, it does add to the cost being carbon fiber because it's um, an expensive material. So they're my three cons. Let's get on to the three pros now. First pro um, is that it is carbon fiber and that it's very light. Um, this, this unit here, even with the um, extra acrylic ring on there, the, um, the screws, the, this is a good length tube as well. It's not a short one. It is still very light and it um, doesn't tip the scales much at all. I think it was 400 grams all up. Um, that's really light and it's gonna fit in my camera bag. It's quite small. It's the first pro. Okay, second pro is it's Australian made. I love Australian made products. It's really high quality. Even the 3D printed parts are really high quality. It's um, very, 
it's got a real good feel to it. Um, a really high quality fit and finish. Um, very happy with the, the, just the quality of it. So being Australian made, very good. And uh, third and final uh, pro for it is just the ability to be able to customize this whether you use gel filters or not, personally I don't, but I can see the benefit in them. I know um, I speak to quite a few local fish shops about taking quick and easy photographs because normally fish shop owners are using their phones and they get these horrible washed out pictures. They can't post those images on um, Facebook because they get flames for them. So they're looking at filters for their phone and doing all sorts of stuff to try and get the pictures looking as good as possible. But everyone knows that if you wanna get a shot like this, you have gotta use a uh, top down viewer. And um, then when you use a top-down viewer in a DSLR, you've got a whole heap of many time, minutes, hours, um, depending on how, how far into it you go, to get the post-processing right if you want to get a picture that you can print out on a huge canvas. Now that's all good and well if you're printing on a huge canvas, but if you're taking uh, 50 or 100 pictures to upload onto Facebook as a coral album, you're going to want to punch them out pretty quickly. And um, being able to put a gel filter on here is going to be an absolute godsend to many people out there. So it is my final pro on the uh, product. Um, other than that, I'd like to just point out that you can pick these up from coralcreations.com.au. Creations is with a K. Jump on there, uh, check out their website. They've got the different pricing options. Um, you can get the gel packs. You can not get the gel packs. Um, you can get all the information on there. So jump on their website um, if you think this product's good for you. I'm definitely going to be using it from now on. Um, it gives me some options between... Uh, Maybe I could have different lenses fitted up into these ready to go between the Avast and the uh, Coral Creations, but um, this is a really cool unit and I'm looking forward to using it in future. So um, if you've got any feedback, any comments, anything, any questions about the uh, Reef Vision itself, be sure to pop the questions down below in the comments section. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you'd like to see more reviews and uh, videos like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any videos in future. Till next time guys, thanks for watching. Catch you later.